G'day guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Very special video today. This is our Spuds Game Curtain Raiser vlog. I almost wasn't gonna put this out, so Connor and I have been working on a little bit of a project that hopefully you guys will hear about in the near future, but potentially not. Um, and we planned on using the clips and the videos for a segment for that. Um, and we actually shot like a, you know, some skits and stuff uh, in and around the curtain raiser for that project as well. But I had a lot of clips left on the cutting room table or cutting room floor, is that the saying? So I thought it'd be awesome to put it together. Frankenstein, um, some of our footage together and, and make a YouTube vlog for it. But because we didn't talk to Cam as consistently vlog style, I am gonna go voiceover mode. So we got invited down by the St Kilda Footy Club the Spuds Game Curtain Raiser and the Spuds Game in general is to raise awareness for mental health. Um, obviously, the Saints are doing some great stuff down at Danny Frawley Centre. So to get the call up and to be the runners was an absolute honour and probably one of the best experiences I've had um, doing what I do. I, I, I don't really know what I do, to be honest. <laughs> um, social media slash YouTube slash... Uh, you know, part-time TikToker, I guess. But um, in terms of having a crack and trying to grind and, and get into the media, um, to participate in this was one of the best things that I've ever been a part of. So this is me and Rog just getting to Marvel Stadium. We actually got there an hour earlier than we were supposed to. And the Saints were good enough to come and get us from the car park and let us in. And this is us walking up the race for the first time. This is one of those pinch yourself moments. You look around, it's an empty Marvel Stadium. Um, and a couple of days earlier, we were worded up that not only were we runners, but we were roaming reporters. So we were going to have a microphone in hand and we were going to run around Marvel Stadium and interview uh, the players and the celebrities. Now, Rog, he, um, he MCs trivia every week. Very confident fella. Whenever we, we would work Kiss FM shifts, um, he'd always jump on the mic and, and do the giveaways. Uh, I'm an apprehensive sort of sort of man. I um, I'm a nervous fella. I I've done YouTube in the safety of my own home for the last six or seven years. So as much as this was an amazing opportunity, it was pretty daunting. Uh, but it felt like we took the opportunity with both hands, and we had an absolute blast. Mate, fever pitch scenes. Everyone is here. Nerves are. Zero, because we're about to go out and kick the Nick Butler's getting changed, and he's been in his undies for the last five minutes. He's had ample time to put the shorts on. I don't know what he's trying to show off, but uh, need to be a bit quicker, I feel, but What's going on? Yeah, well, he was doing giving massages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're eating the snakes. Go on. The snakes. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. That calf's a bad calf. It's a, is money, it? it's is a it? money calf. Oh, get a bit of that. Are you confident tonight, um, mate? Those are good. We, we played one good quarter. Yeah, we remember how good, remember the 100 point win against West Coast? Yeah, remember when I used to play? Not really. I <laughs> um, Alan, Mitch, and then Connor and Caden. So I'll welcome you. So you'll be lined up in the umpire's race. Nancy, you out. And here we are. We're in the middle of Marvel Stadium. Uh, massive, massive pop when they said me and Roger's name. Huge uh, round of applause, sort of standing ovation style. It was hard to. Tell him to shut up. Let's hear it for Caden McDonald and Connor Rogers. It, it was awesome and, and nerve wracking and exciting to be out there. Um, I kept asking the people around us, like, how is this going to work? Like, Mitch Robinson and Alistair Nicholson are commentating, but how are we going to interject and interview the people? Are you going to throw down to us or... Like, how is this all going to work? And pretty much they said, we're going to wing it. Um, so that made me more <laughs> nervous than it should have. Um, so this is everyone entering the ground. Uh, after we had sort of chatted to a few and, and settled in, I, I felt quite confident this was going to go okay. Um, and then the ball was bounced. And here's some of the highlights of myself and Roggie just getting around to some of the players. We're in and amongst the contest. And um, this is how we handled ourselves on the big stage. Marvel Stadium on a Brown Friday night. It Brock here we Brown. go. The Poetry in motion. Oh, the final piece is Dicko. Deadstone. And the goggle box. No, oh, Dicko. Yes. Dicko. We've got a bit of out here. Talk us through what happened oh, there, Dicko. Well, it's some of my Kelsey. finest work, to be honest. Lactic in the legs. I oh, accidentally oh. tripped over myself. Here, I'm on again. Keep working, mate. Keep working. Yeah. And a 15 metre penalty. Metre penalty. Oh, well disciplined. Get over to Joey. Get to Joey. Nat Edwards to live out every girl's dream. She kicks the girl the Marvel Stadium. She's the toast of 
Channel 7. Joey, talk us through the undisciplined in the in the back line, mate. Goddard, like we did at St Kilda, does not play on anyone. He's running around kick chasing. Play on someone. Nat Edwards is running around free. You've got to get more involved here, Joey. Come on, mate. Oh, he's paid the penalty. And now, under the roof of Marvel oh! again. Oh! Oh! With a glorious, thunderous <laughs> strike. Archie, you've done some amazing things on this field before. Damn. How good was that, mate? Oh, mate, unbelievable. I haven't lost it, I don't think. Keep going, mate. Keep it up. Here's Bully again in the middle of the ground. Get goes! Buckley's calling. Yes! Ball on fire. Robinson's in there. Get up, Ed Oh, there's a dust on in the middle. Get up, Ed! This is getting out of control. Butler's field. Oh. Dill, what the hell were you thinking, mate? You've tried to take on three in the middle of the ground. Do you reckon you're that good? As always, mate, Mick Moldhouse said, play within your capabilities. Oh. As the seconds countdown on the opening Spuds game, it's a win for the green team. Fantastic. Robbo, what a performance. through the middle, a little bit undisciplined, a bit of a melee. Talk us through what happened. Yeah, very undisciplined. You know, I felt that the game wasn't going our way, fellas, and I thought it's, you know, if not me, who, kind of thing. And probably looking at four to five weeks of that to tackle on Buckley. Um, he actually can't move his neck, so, but I think the team, they haven't said to me yet, but I think they, I can tell, they really appreciate that effort. Do you expect a bit more out of yourself in the sort of scoreboard department, or are you pretty content to be uh, not offering much? No, there? a lot more. I expected nine more. I <laughs> the one early. I thought I was on for a big day then, but yeah, the, uh, the one and, and well, yeah, one goal in four weeks is a great result for me, but the goal again in four weeks time. As we came off, Dill is huffing and mm. puffing, <laughs> sweaty. Is it the most you've seen him run in the game? Mate, we all said we're not going to take it seriously. Like, this boy's going to get more serious than anything, so um, yeah, he's a... Uh... <laughs> Have a look at that shot. So there we go, guys. That is our Spuds game vlog. I hope you enjoyed the Frankenstein style vlog. Uh, I have a AFL Geo Guesser coming out on Thursday. I've been loving creating shorts, original shorts recently. So I'm going to keep up the short form content. You can catch them on TikTok, Instagram, and obviously YouTube shorts as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers, guys. <laughs>